Okay, we're here at the 10,000 Buddhas. We're coming down the hill. Got some other videos where I was coming all the way up that way. There's some temple way up there. Um, you can check out some of the past videos, but right now I'm going to be coming down, which is equally cool as well, because we're going to be catching some monkeys, some boars, and they're even talking about this one, which I didn't see. But uh, we'll see if we see that as well. But all right, so I'll tell you more about it, and we'll highlight some of these uh, 10,000 Buddhas is on the way. Okay, we're in Hong Kong. Two, zero, two, two. Let's go check it out, subscribe, make some comments below, and enjoy! Okay, let's check out the 10,000 Buddhas. We're going to be doing the final step past the monkeys. We'll see how they're doing. They look like they're pretty hungry when I came up. Made me a little bit nervous, but luckily I don't have any food. So we're going to... um. Just kind of go down and highlight some of these guys. Um, I had, I think I had those four, or maybe it was at five. This would probably be the, this would be the last one. So we're gonna. Um, I usually like to film about ten minutes, so I've been up here for a lot longer than that, and um, just kind of checking stuff out and filming and things like that. But we're gonna be. I had to slow down. I thought I heard a a dog. There's some pretty cool detail. This is a pretty small one compared to some of the other ones. Small shoulders and the other ones are kind of... Got all kinds of shapes and sizes. That right there, there's kind of a pretty big variation of shapes. I don't know if this one is just exceptionally long, big, but it seems like... But it's pretty interesting. A lot of detail and a lot of artwork involved in this. And you can also see some different symbols, green, um, different meanings. Actually, I was also remarking on the first one, just the sh even the little details like the shoes. So it seemed like all the shoes were kind of a certain style that you'd see. And I guess that was all kind of that era. And also some of the designs. It's very quintessential Chinese culture um, with some of the symbolism. This is some symbolism I don't recognize at all though. But it's also maybe some artisan work on that one. They got all kinds of different variations so much detail and all of them it's also kind of getting to be evening time as well so you got a lot of pretty cool detail beads this one's actually like kind of sweating a little bit it's like little I don't know if that's from paint or if that was intentional. But it is pretty cool though. So we're actually kind of near the, the base. And at the base is where a lot of the monkeys are at. So we're going to be going near that shortly. And then we're in Sha Tin. Kind of cool, kind of a darker complexion. It's like almost like Greek or something. Oh, there's some people up there too. So I guess they're coming. There's two people asking some questions up there. Actually, I almost went up that way myself. Oh, this is the entrance. This is where I started at. Um, there were so many monkeys here when I came in. They were coming down off the hills. So actually, this is actually the end. I like that. So I guess because of that, I guess what I'll do is I'll just kind of film this to the station so people have an idea. Um, it was pretty confusing when I was trying to come here. A lot of people didn't really seem to know about this. I don't know why or how that could be. But they just didn't know. Um, I was surprised, really surprised. I guess a lot of people in Shatin are not all live around. I don't who knows. I don't know. So I was looking for boars, didn't see any. Saw lots of monkeys. Do not feed any wild animals. I think that refers to monkeys as well as boars. There's some signs about do not feed or do not give money to the monks because I guess there's some fake monks in around here. Um, I have encountered that in Shenzhen and in Thailand and different places where people walk around begging for money 
and a true monk wouldn't just go up to every single person they see they usually target foreigners actually so that's usually in english um but they that's not like a habit that monks do i mean that's not part of the religion to to become a you know beg for money and uh, it's kind of a shortcut so i guess some people could take that shortcut all the way up to the temple didn't realize that huh. so yeah there's some stuff here too i was asking people I was asking about the shrine and people just didn't seem to know. But um, my first video is um, labeled Shatin. It'll be, um, Shatin will be in the label for sure. So if you search it, Shatin is S-H-A-T-I-N. And you can see me trying to get here. And it's like, on a map it looks so easy. But it's like so, going to the temples? Yeah. That's the way. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, so anyways, we're gonna just walk all the way to Shatin Temple and we'll just kind of see what we can see along the way. There's also kind of interesting too, because there's like, there's a village over here as well. And actually the station is super crazy close. I mean, I just can't even believe it, that there's no signs to direct people over here even. And I think this is like a little village right here. So I guess you can get some sodas and drinks right in this space here. Then you have a beautiful thing right here. So actually you probably could explore this whole other little thing. But it's going to be a little bit in the evening time. You see what all this stuff is too. Got flowers. So I think you could probably check out a village in that space. I think this one is all tourist stuff. And I think we could also probably Coca-Cola. Let's just walk in briefly. So this is kind of at the foot of the temple. Could probably could explore and all that, all that too. But I did promise you I was going to go to the temple. So, or I mean to go to the station. So we'll lead the way. So if you were trying to come, I'm going to reverse everything. So now we're at Pai Tao Street, and that's basically. Um, what I was trying to find before. <laughs> and actually the Shatian station is so ridiculously close that it's kind of unbelievable that there aren't any signs to, to tell people how to get here. Especially since I kind of think of 10,000 Buddhas as being like so cool that as a foreigner or especially for tourists, it's like that's something you want to see. Shatian Rural Committee. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I like to explore in here. Here's a soccer field. They're doing like yoga. The soccer team's doing yoga post postures or maybe core strength building. There's a giant IKEA right there. So yeah, this one when you come out of the station, there's this one. And then basically you just take that way. When I first came out, I jumped in the taxi and I said, I want to go to that Buddha thing. And he basically just told me to walk. <laughs> I just had no idea it was so close like that. But yeah, so here's Home Square. So when you come out of the station, you'll walk towards uh, Ikea, Home Square, and then just walk directly that way. And then you go up into the mountains to the left. And there'll be 10,000 Buddhas. And once I get around the corner here, you'll see how easy it was. So there's Pei Tao Street. And then here's a Shatin Station right here. So yeah, there's no sign here for for the Buddhas, but it's basically if you go towards Shatin Government Office and just go down that way towards IKEA, and the Shatin Station is up that way. So I don't know why they don't put a sign there. I mean, I'm not the only one trying to find it. So we're gonna go towards the station and we'll just film all along the way. And then I'll probably um, try to show you more things. But yeah, that's amazingly close to the station. And we also have this um, little area in here, um, near the station, like a little... I guess it's like a park or something. 
locals they'd probably walk down that way instead of the sidewalk because they know it's more relaxing. Okay, I'm gonna try to go by a few people. There's some feeder buses over here. I'm gonna try to go. So the station is basically right here. So we're just gonna go directly to the station. And then when we get up near the top, you're gonna see a bunch of um, handicapped people who are uh, begging for money. So I don't know, I might see if I have any coins for them. Quite a few of them, so. So there's actually Faisal Village. So there's quite a few up here, so I'm gonna just grab my change. I got some fives, tens, twos, all kinds of stuff. Let's we'll see how they react to that. That's kind of this one right here. We'll capture that real quick before we go up. Okay. So we're gonna head up, get some coins ready. See if the, all the handicapped are still there. I'm gonna check this out, Chatein Rural Committee. So this is the last road we were on was called Chatein Rural Committee as well. Okay. So we're gonna start seeing some of them. So try to save some coins and give there's at least like three in handicapped. Oh, uh, wheelchairs. Let's we'll see if they're still around. Oh yeah, there's a few. So try to get up a few of these. So I'll try to give her a little bit. Try to get over here and give this guy a little bit as well. Give this guy a little bit. Two coins. Thank you. You're welcome. There you go. <laughs> There's another one over here too, so we'll try to capture it here. Oops. There you go. There's one more there. Okay. Oh, we still got 10, so we'll get this other guy up here too. Let's see. Let's see if I have any other coins here. So we'll give this guy the give this guy the five or no maybe we'll give him a twenty. So we'll give him a twenty here. So we we'll give this one. That one. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So, there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. So okay, so now we're at Shatin Station. Uh, we kind of helped out a few people there. And now we're gonna go into here and um, get our octopus card ready and um, get a couple good deeds I guess as well. And now we're into our space here and we can put the station in. So, okay, that's it for now. Hong Kong 2022, 2, 2, 2022, filming and documenting Hong Kong. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe and make some comments below. Ciao. Baby